Today we're going to be making Harold the Ghost. Wait, that's not Harold. That's Harold. Dun dun dun. I was gonna name him Jasper, uh, but Jasper's too close to Casper. And I don't wanna be sued, you guys. And I had two ideas, so I decided to make a double-faced cake. This cake is adorable and terrifying, so let's get started. Can you tell that there's makeup right here? No? Okay, well, forget that I mentioned it, all right? The first thing I'm gonna do is level off my cakes. I'm using six inch round cakes. Two of them are caramel that I dyed orange, and the other two are chocolate and I dyed them black. Now the last chocolate cake is actually a dome cake so I didn't have to level it off. You like every single person on this planet. You're perfect the way you are. What is this, Tumblr? Get out of here, guy. Now I'm gonna place my first cake onto a cake board, soak it in some simple syrup, and then add my first layer of buttercream. Now my simple syrup actually has a hint of caramel extract, and my buttercream has no flavoring whatsoever. It's just sweet cream, really. I forgot to add vanilla extract to this, but that's okay, I'm still gonna eat it. Now after I finished stacking my cakes, I gave my cake a crumb coat. As you can tell, I forgot to shoot myself giving this cake a crumb coat, so this is my reenactment of me giving my cake a crumb coat. <laughs> you see how my spatula isn't actually doing anything? Yeah, I messed up there too, you guys. <laughs> now let's create Harold's face. To create Harold's face, I'm using a toothpick and I'm just marking out where I want all of his features to go. So he needs two eyes and a big ol' mouth. I'm just using a paring knife to cut out all of the different cavities and holes. I want his mouth to be almost touching the cake board. When I was finished, I gave all of these different crevices a crumb coat. Now the back side of Harold is completely flat, so I actually don't have to do any sculpting on that side. Place this into the fridge to chill, and then I went to Netflix and I turned on... Can you guess? Can you guess what I watched? Did you guess the Magic School Bus? I grew up watching the Magic School Bus with Miss Frizzle and then that kid, the ginger with the glasses. I love that kid. Arnold, he was my favorite. My favorite episode was the salmon episode. Do you guys remember that? I loved it. I watched four episodes, which I think is like two hours. And then I started to work on my cake again. Now I rolled out some white fondant, enough to cover my entire cake. It was kind of like my doll cakes where the bottom of it, you're actually not trying to get a flat shape. You're just draping it over and working with all of the different folds. With the bottom, I was just trying to make it look the way that a blanket would look if it were covering a person. Remember when you were little and you get a bed sheet and you put it over yourself and you pretend to be a ghost and then you'd like get scissors to cut out the two eye holes and then your mom would hit you with the belt because you ruined the bed sheet that her grandma hand stitched together. And that was the last time you pretended to be a ghost. <laughs> now when I was happy with the way that the fondant fell, I cut off the excess in this sort of wave shape so that it looked more ghostly. Now for Jasper's face, um, oh man, his name's not Jasper, it's Harold. <laughs> I just used some fondant tools to push the fondant into all of his facial features. I wanted to make sure that I got all of the definition in his eyes and in his mouth. I'm also using some fondant tools to make sure that his face doesn't look super flat. Like give him some wrinkles that emphasize his top lip or like the side of his mouth. Make it look like where his eyes are, they're like bulging out, even though there's no actual eyeballs. And I rolled out some white fondant super thick to give him some arms. I'm just gonna attach this to the sides of his body with an arts and crafts stick. There's a little bit of vodka in between it as well, just to make sure that it holds together. I always use vodka as glue because water gets the fondant too sticky and it doesn't evaporate as fast as vodka does. Yolanda Gamp always uses food grade alcohol. I don't know what that is. I went to several bakeries, I checked on Amazon, and I can't find it. I know that you can use vanilla extract or like lemon extract or any type of extract because that has alcohol as well. But that also has flavoring. And vodka doesn't really have any flavoring. It just has love. 
It just tastes like love, you guys. <laughs> I'm joking, I don't even like vodka, I'm a whiskey guy. Before we start painting all of Harold's features, we're going to create Harold's back. Now I rolled out some black fondant really thin and I'm going to use two cookie cutters to create some eyes. Now using a smaller cutter, I'm just creating two catch lights with a little bit of white fondant so that his eyes sparkle. And I'm using a template to create his happy smile. I'm going to glue all of these features to his back with a little bit of vodka. Now you guys might think that this is Harold's second face, but it's not. This is not a real face, it's a misdirect. Harold is a terrifying looking ghost, so to get close enough to his victims, he actually walks backwards. You see, his victim sees this happy looking ghost that just looks like he wants to give everybody a hug, but when he gets close enough, he turns around lightning fast, revealing his true form, and then using those enormous teeth to take a bite out of the donuts that the victim is holding. Harold doesn't eat people, he eats donuts. He loves donuts. Now let's create Harold's true form. So the first thing I'm gonna do is give Harold a little bit of dirty. To scare his victims, Harold has to hide in very dirty places. Trash cans, back alleys, sewers. So I'm dirtying him up with a little bit of black luster dust on a dry paintbrush. Now with some black food coloring and a paintbrush, I'm gonna darken the inside of his eyes as well as his mouth. I want the edge of all of his features to be really soft, so I'm just going to use a Q-tip and a little bit of black luster dust. Now Harold needs some teeth. Rolling out some white fondant and I added a little bit of MCM to it, just so it stiffens up a bit. I rolled it into this very long cone and I added a little bit of curve into it so it's not completely straight. I'm just gonna repeat this process over and over and over again and, and too many times. I only needed eight teeth total, but I made extra because I wasn't sure how much was actually gonna fit into its mouth. I also created six small claws. I'm going to attach them to his arms so he can actually grasp onto things, you know? Once his teeth were a little bit harder, I dusted them with a little bit of black luster dust on a dry paintbrush. I also inserted a toothpick so I could plunge this into his mouth. If you have teeth, then you have gums. So I rolled out some gum pink fondant and just attached it with a little bit of vodka to the roof of his mouth. I did the exact same thing with the bottom. Then I took each of my teeth and just inserted them into his gums. And I'm just adding a little bit of vodka to a paintbrush and I'm going to drag down some of the black food coloring from his eyes so it looks kind of like it's melting. I wanted to give some details to his left eye as well and I kind of wanted it to look like he got in a bar fight, you know? Yo, my ghost stories are so extra, you guys. I'm going to use some fondant tools to give his gums some more texture and I'm just going to use a little bit of vodka and black food coloring to give it a little bit more depth. You know, like he's got some gingivitis, a little bit of gum disease. I felt like the bottom of Harold looked a little too clean, so I took a paring knife and some fondant tools and just gave it a little bit of wear. I wanted it to look like he had a long afterlife. Harold is complete, but we're not finished just yet. You know what we gotta add to the cake board? Some coconut shavings! I dyed some coconut shavings black. I do this with like so many of my cakes. It's like guacamole and chipotle. Like, you gotta have guacamole when you get Chipotle. <laughs> now on Harold's back side, I added some candy corn. And on Harold's terrifying side, I took some of his teeth and I colored them the colors of candy corns. And they look like very evil candy corns, don't they? And there you have it, our terrifying, donut-eating, victim-scaring ghost, Harold. Now I loved all of the backstories that you gave Harold in the community tab, but I stuck to this story because it was the one I came up with and I was actually sketching him. Now I'm curious about two things. Who is your favorite Magic School Bus character and what is your favorite episode? And also, which one of my Halloween cakes is your favorite? Harold, Sam and Jack, Annabelle, or Pennywise? Now if you want to see more of my Halloween videos, there's an entire playlist in the description box or at the end of the video. And make sure you hit that notification button this way. It's over here, right? 
It's here, I'm pretty sure it's here. Um, so that when I finish shooting a cake, you can see it in the community tab and you can be a part of the video like all of these beautiful people. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. Peace! <laughs>